I work for the art and art digital media. I think DBC, I think students come to the DBC art department um, because of the huge variety of types of classes that we offer here, not only just in art, but art digital media. Everything from uh, printmaking and drawing and painting and watercolor uh, to jewelry, um, to computer design, video games, animation, cartooning, all hosts of all different kinds of uh, games and uh, uh, classes where um, students can uh, create new things, they can reinvent themselves if they're coming back from a job, um, or they can uh, experiment with classes, maybe topics and subjects that they're thinking about getting into but maybe aren't quite certain of and it's a great place to sort of uh, test the water before they move on in their education. Arts life, it's dreams, it's motivation, it's freedom, it's relaxation, at least to me. I, I really like it that art can be where I turn to when I have a bad day or I'm tired or I just need 10 minutes to step back and think something through. I can just kind of occupy my mind with art and then the ideas just come. I have a lot of students that transfer in from various community colleges and um, the students that come in from DVC have had a more rigorous experience than a lot of other community college students that I run into. Um, so it's a, just a good preparation uh, with the expectation that people will transfer out of here and kind of continue to pursue um, their vocation. If there's so few things that you do you get to get, like, have something like physical that you can hold in your hand that you can say I made this that's not like the school and you, often it's just a piece of paper with a grade on it or uh, just a comment on something you did when with, when with art especially, cer especially ceramics you can you can hold and people can can experience and enjoy, and enjoy the, things, the things that you put your time and work into. I would describe it as a unique place where students get a lot of um, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, accessibility with their instructors because we're always hanging around. You know, you're up in the ceramic studio. You're going to see Professor Messenger throwing pots. Uh, Professor McDade doing his thing, and right now Professor Sugita's over there next door making noise. He's 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 doing demos for his class, but he's also doing his own work. So students can drop by and see what Professor Sugita is working on, and I'm always drawing with my students. So. It's just a lot of, we're not locked up in our offices. We're down here in the studios. They can always come in and talk to us, you know, anytime when we're not in class, when we're in class. Everybody has unique skills. And I think oftentimes in life, the skills that are our strongest, the things that make us who we are, we tend to discount because they come easy to us. And so we tend to ignore them and we take things that are maybe either ignore what's possible in us or um, don't allow us to become and realize our full potential. We have to seem to struggle against things, otherwise we don't feel that we're actually achieving anything. Um, hopefully what we offer here at DBC is the opportunity to allow people to uh, find their strengths, to allow them to be able to go on and to see what makes them tick and makes them uh, become their best so that when, they, when you go back out into the world, um, you can be really successful, be happy. You don't have to be a millionaire, but you should really enjoy what you're doing every day.